Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to create a lyrics command. So as you can see here on my screen here, you can see that I pulled up a API. So this is a free API. You don't need to sign up for a API key for this. So it's a really cool API. I'll link it down in the description. So you can see here, I pulled up the uh, Despacito's lyrics. So you can see here, here, all of the lyrics. And yeah, today I'll be creating a command for it. So let's say uh, the lyrics is too long and you want to split into several embeds. I'll be showing you guys how to do that in today's video. So I'll be fetching the API using a library called Axios. So to install that, you gotta run npm i Axios. All right, to start off, I'm just gonna create a simple command called lyrics. As you can see here, this is in slash commands, in utils, and in lyrics. So if you don't know what this is, this is called a command handler, and I'll link this video down in the description below. All right, so let's just start creating the command. So module exports, and we're gonna have our name, which is going to be lyrics description. Uh, we can just say uh, get lyrics for a song. And then we can do options. So in our options, we're going to have our song title. So song title, description, title of the song. And then we can have uh, our type as a string. And then we can set required to true because uh, what else we're going to fetch if the person doesn't provide us with the song title. All right. So next we can have our run function. Client interaction. And yeah, that should be it. All right. So I'm just going to create the uh, substring function. So it's a custom function. So con substring. Or you can just do function substring. Okay, and here we can take in length, which is going to be a string, I mean a number. All right, so uh, I'm thinking if I should put this in. Okay, let me just put it in here. All right, and then we're going to have our string value in here like this. Okay, so we're going to split the string. All right, so uh, we can just do const replaced equals to data the lyrics, or we can just do value dot replace and then we can replace uh, all of the backslash n with uh, two hyphens okay so the reason that i'm doing this is for some reason uh it's not uh splitting it correctly so i'm just basically just uh changing all of these to uh double dashes all right so i'm just gonna call this replaced and then we can just do const rejects so here's our rejects expression just gonna do back takes dot and then uh, curly braces and then here you're gonna do one comma and then in here uh dollar sign and then length like this all right so basically it's just say one two and then our length which is going to be specified in the function above all right perfect at the next uh we're gonna do uh const lines equals to replace dot match because they are all strings and then we can just do new regular expression and then we can pass in our rejects and we're just going to use the global flag so rejects comma and then g all right so once we did that we're going to map the data so we can just do dot map for each line we're going to replace the hyphens or the dashes with the uh, backslash n again so we can do that by doing line the replace we replace the slash slash, I mean the dash dash to uh, like uh, backslash n like this. All right, so once we did all of that, we're just going to return the line. So we can just do return lines. Perfect. All right, so now we can uh, create our URL. So we can just do const. Oh, before that, we actually want to get this song title argument. So we can do that by doing uh, const song title equals to interaction dot options dot get string and pass in song title in here. Next, we're going to generate a URL. So I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to use the built in JavaScript URL generator. So new URL. And then we can just do, we can pass in the URL. So let me just quickly grab the URL. Uh, you want to grab much of the lyrics. I'll link this in the description so you don't need to type this out. Okay, I'm going to link this. You can just copy it from the description. And then uh, we can just add a 
parameter, a search parameter. So we can just url.search par params.append. We're going to append the title to song title. So I'm pretty sure it automatically uh, encode the URI component. So we don't need to manually do that. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is it's the equivalent to doing the comma title despacito. So it's doing this for us. All right, perfect. Next, uh, we can wrap our promise in our try catch error. And if there's an error, we can do something else. All right. So in here, we can just do const data because uh, Axios returns data like this. All right. And then uh, we can just do await Axios.get and then Axios.get. And then we can pass in our URL.href. So this is our URL itself. We actually log out the URL as well. So console.log, we can just do URL and then we can do URL like this. Okay, so this is not necessary just to show you what URL is being created. All right, and then uh, we can have, if there's data, we're gonna do uh, cons embeds equals to substring. And then here we're gonna pass in a length. So ideally you wanna pass in the amount of characters you want to fit in a single embed. So in this case, in this card, uh, let me just go to this card. Okay, so this card allows us to have 4,096 4, characters. So I'm just going to put 500 for now. You should put 4,000, should put 4,000, but I'm just going to put 500. So you can see that uh, it's actually splitting into different embeds. All right, so once you did that, and we need to pass in our value, which is going to be data.lyrics. Right, and then uh, once we get the array back, we're gonna map it, and then we're gonna have a value and an index, and we can call a variable so we can know that this is a this is the first uh, value. So we can just do const is first. So this is a boolean, a boolean equals to index equals to zero. So if it's first, this is gonna be true. If it's not first. This is going to be false. So the reason I'm doing this is so that we can add the uh, title and the thumbnail to the first embed only. Because if you add the title and the thumbnail to every single embed, it looks kind of bad. All right. So uh, next, we're going to return a new message embed. Oops, embed. All right. So in here, we can just put an object and then we can do this to uh, title. So if it's first, then only you want to add a title or else we're just going to make it null. So we can do that by doing is first. If it's first, uh, we can just do title, the other title. And then we can also add the dot author. So let me show you guys. Okay, we have the title, we can have the author. So I'm just going to do a despacito, blah, 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 and then dash, and then the author's name. So we can do that by doing uh, dash. And then here, just going to do data dot author. So author is in here. So we can just do data dot author like this. All right. So if it's not present, if it's not the first embed, we're just going to return now. Okay. Same thing goes with the thumbnail. So if you want a thumbnail, you can do this. So is first, if it's first, we can just return data dot thumbnail dot genius. All right. So this is the same thing with data dot thumbnail and then dot genius in here. So we're going to get this image over in here. All right, so this is what being returned. And then, or else we're just gonna do null. All right, lastly, we're gonna have our description, which is gonna be value. So this is the lyrics. All right, so we're almost done. All right, so uh, we can just send the embed by doing con, or we can just do return interaction, not follow up, embeds, and we should be good. All right, next. So catch error. So uh, when does this get triggered? So basically this get triggered whenever you pass in a random title. So let me just try doing something like this. It's going to give us an error. Okay. It's going to give us a bad status code. So since here error, actually I couldn't, couldn't find the songs lyrics. So you can do that. So whenever you get this, the code in here is going to run. All right. So we can just do uh, interaction go follow up and we can just do content uh, we can just do uh, sorry but I am not 
able to find uh, lyrics for that song title. You can do whatever you want. So yeah, that should be it for this command. Let's just test this out. So if I do lyrics, and I can do uh, something like Despacito. All right, so it gives us all the lyrics, but there's one problem. As you can see here, it's giving us this uh, double dashes. Uh, so it's only doing it for the first one. So we're gonna use a regex expression or regular expression to fix this. So go to line 22 and we're just gonna change to a regular expression like this. So uh, slash and then double dashes and then slash and then G, so for global. So let's just save this and let's just try this out again. Let me just copy this command and run this again. All right, as you can see here, it's now fixed. It's not showing the double dashes and it's actually skipping a line, but there's one more problem. The, uh, the thumbnail is not showing. So I've made a mistake. It shouldn't be uh, like this. It should, let me just cut this and it should be an object. And then it's going to contain a URL parameter. So you can just pass in URL like this without the strings. All right, so let's just test this out once again. All right, so as you can see here, uh, it's going to show us the thumbnail. It's going to show us the title of the song and also the uh, the author of the song. All right, so uh, if I try to change this over here, so let me just change substring to maybe 1000. Okay, it's going to display less embeds. As you can see here, there's quite an amount of embeds. So if I do slash lyrics, uh, there's Pasito again. Okay, as you can see here, now they are split into three chunks. All right, so actually this, we can fit all of them maybe into one chunk. So uh, as you can see here, the embed is 4096. So we can just change this to 4096, which is ideal. So whenever the lyrics is more than 4096 characters, it's going to split into multiple embeds, as you can see, as I have demonstrated earlier. So let me just set it to 4096. Uh, which I also recommend you to do so. So you can just do this, and then let me just try to run the command again. Lyrics despacito. All right, so now it's all in a single embed, which is pretty cool. So we can also search for other songs. It's not going to be. We can just do a uh, driver's license. That's going to give us the song as well. All right, so for the last part. If you think that this is like kind of spammy and you don't want to flood your server with this kind of commands, you can actually send this embed in the DMs. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So instead of doing this, uh, we can just do uh, follow up and we can change this to content and we can do check your DMs and then uh, above here. Let me just remove this return. And then we can just do uh, interaction dot user and then we can do dot user dot send and then we can pass in our embeds like this. So let's just test this out. If I do slash lyrics and then I put in a title drivers license. It's gonna say check your DMs. And when I click on my DMs, it's going to send me the lyrics. If you want to meet more programmers, need help, or you just want to suggest a new video, feel free to join the Discord server. Links will be in the description. I've also made tons and tons of Discord JS version 13 tutorials. So if you want to watch those, feel free to click on the playlist at the end of the video. Other than that, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye.